Hello all, welcome to oratrainers.com. In this session, we'll discuss about fixed asset, mass addition, import. Let's get into agenda. We'll understand which template to use it and the import process details, the table details, and some set of references. So the first and foremost important thing is which template we have to use it for the purpose of adding an asset. So the template we have to use is like if you observe the like um, this Oracle documentation under the assets category and the assets section. So we have to use fixed asset mass addition import. So this is a FBTI template which we have used it, which we have to use it for the purpose of adding an asset into Oracle Fusion. Okay. And this has three sheets. One is the first sheet is FA underscore mass mass addition, other one is distribution, other one is rates. And here, if you observe this particular documentation, I mean the Oracle documentation link has the information about which particular job we have to use it and the template we have to use it, okay? So we'll discuss in detail, like uh, once we check the template, but this is a link for the purpose of loading the, I mean, getting the latest template. So once you get the template, what is the next step we have to do is we have to fill up the data and then we have to run a job called load interface file for import and the import job, if you observe the earlier uh, slide, so here we have is, what we have is post mass edition. So we have to use post mass edition as an import process, import job, and then we just need to run it. Once it runs successfully, it will invoke another job called prepare asset transaction data. If at all, if there is no failure in any of these particular processes, you can go to the next step where we have to run the post mass edition job. And there you have to select the, the book for which you want to add asset. Nothing but like when you prepare the data, we have a column called asset book for which asset you want, for which asset book you want to add the asset. You have to mention that particular asset book. Okay, so now before proceeding further, what we do is we'll try to get into the I mean, in, instance and try to understand some of the information. Okay, so let me get there. So first thing is, let us go to the instance. So this is the instance. And if you want to find out or if at all, if you want to navigate to the assets, right? So first what you have to do is click on fixed asset and assets. And this is a place where you can see the assets. And here, first thing is you have to select for which particular asset book you want to add asset, right? So that's the import first step. And the next thing is like a for which particular depreciation month you want to add asset. So these are the two important configurations which you have to consider while filling up the data, okay? So of course we have some other information also, but let us like, uh, we can ignore as of now. So now, so when you get the standard template, so let me remove the other, unnecessary templates. Okay, so we'll try to have a clarity on the, the FBDI template first. So this is latest template FBDI which I have downloaded from Oracle documentation. The first sheet is a instruction which has information like uh, whatever we're discussing, like uh, it tells you like uh, what is the process it follows, what is the control file, what is the date format, and some set of other information. And now coming to the next one, FA underscore mass addition. So this is a, this particular sheet has a high level information about the asset details, like a, what is the asset book and what is the transaction name, asset description, if you have asset number, and also some set of like a legacy details of your asset, like if at all, if you have a manufacturer, serial number, and what is the asset type you want to consider, the cost information, date placed in service, and what is the flow rate convention you have to want to follow, and the asset category details. These are the very important fields. And apart from that, there's one, one most important field is posting status nothing but like a generally like when you work with an asset so you can have a new asset or it can be a merged asset okay and we will not discuss about the merged asset as of now you just want to discuss about the fresh asset okay and ideal i can say like uh, not to discuss much i mean don't think too much on this one is simply have the status as post that's it and the queue state queue name also has the same thing as post and now the other important field is so interface line number now let us say if you want to add an asset so this interface line number is used by the Oracle like uh, interface program, the load job to find out like a linkage between this first sheet and the second sheet. Okay. So for each, for each asset, whatever you want to add up, make sure that these are unique line numbers. And for that unique line number, if you want to add up the distribution, you have to mention that like, this is how these are correlation between the FA mass addition as well as mass distribution. So in this distribution sheet, you just have the, like a location information as well as the expense segment information. So these are the two 
very important fields in the distribution. One is a asset location details as well as expense segment details. So now coming to the mass rates, you can use it if at all if you want to mention the data in the different currency, nothing but report currency, else you can just ignore it. So the only two important sheets are the first one and the second one. And let me get into slide. So I want to show you some details here. Yeah. So now here, if you observe, these are three sheets which we discussed and the interface table, the corresponding interface table, right? So the corresponding interface table for mass addition is like a mass additions only. This is quite wrong. Yeah, mass additions only. And similarly for mass addition distribution, this is a distribution table and mass rate and this is this one. And now, so there is no error table as such in the FA mass addition, okay? So then how do you get the error information, right? So as a developer or as a data migration team, when you prepare data, always there is a chance of some set of validation errors you may face it while running the program, right? But so first thing is when you prepare the data and once you upload it, once you perform the load job, if at all, if there is no error in your data and if all the load import job is successful, and then you can run the post mass addition. Let us say, but during load, if you got an error, what happens is there is no error table. And what will happen is it will truncate all the data in the interface table. But how do you get the log information? How do you how do you know that which particular record is failure, right? So the only way is using the log file of your load job or text file, which is generated by the load job. That is the only way to find out the error details of your FA import job, I mean, the load failures. And other important, tables, some of the tables I mentioned, not all, like FA books table, asset books details, and addition, whenever you add an asset, if at all, posting is successful, and the asset details will be available in the FA editions week, okay? And these are some of the references which I was talking about, like uh, if at all, any failure in the data, everything is truncated, and also, if at all, if your post mass edition is not processing any of your record, just check out what is the date placement service you have it, and what is the date, like a depreciation period, which is open. These are two important things which you come across. Now, let me start importing. So let me start like a preparation of data and import. So like this is my data, which I already prepared, or I can add up one more asset. Let us say I'll add up one more asset here. I'll mention it as three, and you can check out the cost. Let us say I'll mention the cost as 7,500, and remaining, I don't want to change it. Let us say asset, I want to make it as 10 assets, and the date, Placement service here, if you observe, I mentioned the date in the October period because the depreciation period which was open is October. So, and you know, like um, that's the reason I mentioned this one. And asset category. And the posting status posting. And similarly, now I added one more, one record here, right? First thing is you have to change the interface line number is three. And now go to the distribution and similarly add up one more line. And here, mention, make sure that you mention the appropriate information. Interface line number will be three. And the number of assets which I want to assign for this particular one was 10 assets. So I'll change it to 10. And remaining, I'm not changing. So it all depends upon the configuration which you have prepared for your assets, right? So I'll just save it. Save it. Okay. It generated the files. Now what we do is go to the instance, go to tools. So let's run the load job. Load interface. File for import. Now here, this one, the import process, what we have to select is post mass edition. Okay. Now select the data file, which we generated just now. This one, FA mass edition dot zip. Okay. Submit. So 597 is our job. Let's refresh. It can take a couple of seconds. We just have three records. Just observe. 
so it ran it has load file to interface two times because we have two sheets which has data and other particular process like a prepare as a transaction data which will get invoked automatically so you can just i'll just remove this i mean i'll show in a flat list you can see that like a prepare as a transaction data will get invoked automatically if the load interface file for input is successful so in our case this got successful so that's the reason it got like uh, this prepare as a transaction got invoked and we can also observe our data in the interface table so fa mass addition was our interface table so let's see that okay so these are three like uh, these are th the one where you don't have asset number these are three assets which we added just now and these are like loaded in the interface table as of now they are not added into the base table because you could see that they are not available right now and if it is available right definitely you should have seen the asset number in the interface table also and you can see the status of the queue and the queue status is still post it is not posted until unless the status is posted it won't be available in the fa edition b table now before posting what we can do is we'll let us navigate to our assets screen click on assets and we can see where they are right so you can see just click on ready to post and you can see these are three assets which we added just now and 10 and one five right and what we can do you can either click on post all from here or you can what we can do is you can just go back to the schedule process and click here post mass edition you just need to run a job called post mass edition mass editions and click on ok now mention the the book right so here if you see the drop down it shows only one because it has data only in this particular book that's why it is showing only this and now just refresh so this job may invoke one more job post mass edition report so that will have the clarity of the information about how many records processed nothing but how many records how many assets posted how many failed and what are the latest asset number so in our asset data we have not provided the asset number right so sometimes in legacy you may not have the asset number if you don't have the asset number you can ignore it if you have the asset number you mentioned the asset number so that respective asset number will be created okay so i can just refresh let's see it's still running We can check from back end also. So the first three records should have the asset numbers now. And the status should have been posted. If at all, everything is okay, right? So these got posted now. And you can see the latest assets which we added, like uh, the one which has the amount like this. And you can see the asset numbers. Okay, these are the asset numbers. And you can see the, the main important one, post mass edition report. This, if at all, if this is successful, I mean, if the assets are created successfully, you can see that you can say that like your import is successful right the three asset got added up here so this report clearly tells you like uh, which assets got added up and which got failed based on that you can see if at all if you get any exception right if at all if you want to modify some data what you can do is you have adf adf di also so so i can just go here fixed assets asset And here you have an option, like uh, you can just click on task list and yeah, not there, sorry. You can just click on manage asset. So if at all, if you see, right? So in our case, it is not there. Yeah, sorry, prepare all. You can just click on prepare all. It will download the ADF DI sheet and you can just open it and you can update the data if at all if you want to update any of the data and then you can follow the remaining process like uh, update the data and then you can perform the post mass addition so that like uh, once it is successful you can get the data and if at all if you want to inquire the asset which we loaded right so you can just click on inquire assets and you can see the recent editions Right, so these are the recent edition. Like these are the recent assets which we just added up, the first three assets. And earlier, the, the these are the earlier assets which I added up before, like uh, discussing on this one. Okay, 
So this all about a mass addition. So we have a lot number of things in the FA like fixed asset. So as of now, we just discussed only the adding an asset using the fixed post mass addition FBDI. Okay, thank you.